These days, uh, we all know, are challenging days for our church, not least in this country. We are experiencing also in our country great cultural shifts. And we also know that the structures that have served the Catholic Church in Scotland so well for the last hundred years are creaking. They're beginning to break up a little, they're beginning to break open somewhat, but I am convinced that this is the Lord's work. They are breaking up and breaking open only to allow the church in Scotland newer and better possibilities. And so we don't dwell on the past, but we, as a church, we go forward with confidence. We go forward boldly, with courage, with creativity, with joy to face the challenges that lie ahead, convinced that the Lord is with us. This evening also coincides with the first anniversary of the consecration of Pope Francis to the papacy in the beginning of his papacy. And in Francis, the Holy Spirit has surely given us a great example of a shepherd who guides us with joy, a smile on his face, and with hope. And his living example of the gospel lived out radically and lived out in simple humanity, simple mercy, simple hope has been such that he has received a global welcome. And we should reflect on that, surely, the colossal welcome that the whole world has given to Pope Francis, men and women, of goodwill, of no faith, and none have welcomed him with open arms and with joy. And surely it must show us, brothers and sisters, that the world is hungering for the gospel, is thirsting for the gospel when it sees it lived out in a way that is done with a smile in our face, with joy, with hope, and with charity. And so tonight, I know that I am in the hands of the Holy Spirit, and I know that you are. We're all in the hands of the Holy Spirit. He is our guide. He never abandons us. He's our only power, surely. And we're going to follow the Holy Spirit from uh, these days, and we're going to live in him, and we're going to share him with our country and with our world and we are going to be convinced that the joy of the gospel is going to transform the minds and hearts of the people of this nation. The joy of the gospel is going to win our country back to living faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us arise and be on our way. God bless. <laughs>